How's it going, my comic chat army? I'm sorry that I don't have no voice. It's been a long couple of weeks. Um, hope everybody had a great holiday. It was enjoyable for y'all. It was quiet here. Went to sleep early. Didn't even watch the ball drop. Nope. But check out our new banner. This is season four. We're gonna have it up for the whole season. Hopefully another hundred bucks or 50 or so. If everything <laughs> goes right. We still got bookmarks if you're interested, sticker packs and pins. Yeah. You got a 50-50 chance of getting a chase or a shiny. But all that be down in the description. But the whole reason you're here is to hear about dog eaters and Rabbit's Badass Song. Yep. So for no further ado, let's do it. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So Dog, dog eaters. eaters, which is now at ASAP Comics. You can follow them on Instagram, ASAP Comics UK. I'll leave a link to them down in the description. And this is a book based off of an, um, it's an adaptation based off of a screenplay by Malcolm Wong, correct? Yeah, which yeah. Cody interviewed also. Link but, up there and it should pop up there somewhere. Yep. So my best way of describing the whole vibe and feel of this book, it's kind of like a Mad Max kind of. Okay. Energy. It's basically like I think it's like 175 years after like mankind dies, and I think it's called like the Petroleum Age. But anyways, Petroleum you've Age. got the dog. Yeah, you got the dog. What is this? It's some some dog something clan, and then the roaches. So basically, it's like it's just they're you don't want to get messed caught up with the roaches basically but this is what happens is they the dog clan and i really wish i had the whole name i apologize who's on the front that's the dog see hold on i had it in my notes where is it give me one second black dog clan ends up coming upon a fight amongst the roaches and a man like a lone traveler so you would say he came was coming from the north and basically they step in to help him and decide if they're gonna let him into their clan or not and he ends up getting messed up pretty bad um it's just like i said it's kind of got that mad max vibe um very yeah she's really cute and she i think she my guess she's gonna end up falling for the guy i don't know his name quite yet but it's got a um what is it animates stuff. yes it does it. it has a very anime i thank you i, but, I did mm, think that when i was reading it if you want to know more about the book and what um if you like stuff like this yeah. definitely check it out it's a really good book and if you want to know my uh, Malcolm's thoughts on making the book, check out the interview. Yeah, yeah. but it is a good, it's a good book. It really is. I One like out of ten. I give it a nine. Nine. Yeah, see there he is. That's the 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 lone man, and then you, they kind of have a moment. That's why I think there's something's gonna happen. But <laughs> anyways, yeah. So and to it's, be continued, but it's a series. One out of six. Yep. We've got all six. Yep. We will be reviewing all six. So go ahead and hit that like subscribe button and turn the bell to all so you don't miss any uploads. So I have not interviewed Christopher yet, but I want to. He told me a little bit of his plans about this book. I'm not going to spoil it for y'all here. I'm going to wait to the interview so he can explain what his full plans for this book is. What Rabbit's Badass Song is, this is, I'm going to tell you what I got about the book, then I'm going to show you the pages and tell you about the story. So, some racist people took Rabbit, I'm assuming killed his family, maybe disfigured him in a fire, that's why he's got the mask on, but he finds this dude, Jeff, and Junior is his son. He gets the bartender to drug him, and then... He gets them to go to his aunt's house to get this necklace back. Hmm. Yeah, it's like black and white and real gritty. I like it. Well, you like black and white. I do. And this book, I like, gotta. It's like nothing else out there. But the, some of the dialogue is like they're actually talking to each other. Hmm. Because one of the guys asks about the people, and the guy in the front seat's explaining it to him. Then Bunny 
is like, what? What are you saying? And he's like, oh, I'm just explaining that or something. Which makes saying. it easy to fall into right. the story, which I like books like that. It kind of, I think it's a good way of capturing your audience. Yes. Really it's, good. Right. Yeah. If you can do it correctly. Yes. Some books do it and it just, yeah. it doesn't hold. It's, no. It's Let me see mess. if I can find it really quick. But anyways, he was telling him about somebody and then, then Bunny asked him about him and he was like, oh, my bad. And like, he kept on finishing his story. But here is Junior going to his aunt's house to get the necklace back for Rabbit so he doesn't die. Pretty awesome story. Sounds like something I would have read. Yeah, like it, it was really cool. One um, out of 10. One out of 10, I give it a 9.5, easy. I cannot wait for number two, see? Yep. Like some of the pages, some of the pages kind of felt a little flat. Yeah. Like see when the woman got shot right here? Yeah, and when you're doing black and white, you've really got to put that detail in. Right. Because it's going to fall flat really quick. Mm -hmm. Even like like that was just kind of not the... So much he playing. looks like the... Um, your Batman character. But anyways, this guy right here. Batman like, character. I can't think of the name. I will come up with it later. But anyways, go ahead. The way his face look, it reminds me of your... Where is he? Anyways, continue. I'll figure it out. But, no, that's a mask that Bunny's wearing. So I'm assuming he's wearing the mask because he's, like, disfigured underneath. But... Or he like, doesn't want to show his identity? Maybe. Maybe that, too. But, I mean, he tells him, hey, y'all y'all did this to my family. And I think we even... Spoilers for the end. So it's kind of like the Punisher, in a way. No, it's not like the Punisher. Well, no, but the story, like, yeah, in, a, in I mean, a sense, like... Lost what? his family and yeah. But anyways, go ahead. But he leaves a note for the people and burns down the house. So we got to figure out what's gonna happen in number two. Does uh, he leave a bunny too? He does. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'm hoping the next couple of issues, or when I interview Christian, Christopher, Christian, he can explain why Bunny is Bunny and how he got the bunny mask. <laughs> that's cute on the back. Right. I don't know if that's real or not. Right. This is Bunny's famous chicken that he's talking about through the whole book. <laughs> There's a little coupon. That's pretty yeah. cool. I don't know if that's a real place or what that is. It's got a listing in a city. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Yeah. I mean, it's it's listed. <laughs> we'll see. Or if that's where it takes place. Right. But either way, it's just cool for the immersion. I like stuff like that. Right. We've had a few books that do have done things like that. or And this too. I absolutely love this. When books See, and this. I've read books like that, like Teether, where they put the drawings yeah. and stuff. Where they put concept art in the back. Like, that's so cool. You're I, the bunny. I do. I really think that's really... It was showing you, like, the first couple of ideas of what he was yep. going to look like in character fulfillment. Yep. I'm mean, not character fulfillment, like, fleshing out full characters. Yeah. But, Sorry if you hear Harley in the background. Yeah. But anyways. Hold on, look, Teether. Hold the book. We got to figure out what we're going to do about putting the books behind us or whatnot we have limited space so but but anyways. i give it a what i give it a 9.5 it was just a really awesome book really really dope to kick it off kick the gear off this way with something new fresh and exciting yeah these both these books were very different from any, anything right. we've read um i mean completely different great start to the year if yep we can keep it with stuff like this this year is going to fly by but you do have some good books coming. Oh, yeah, we do. And a lot of twists and turns and surprises. And a lot of great interviews. So, yeah. And a lot of, I'm trying to push Cody to do some little out-of-the-box things, too. So stay tuned. Right. We'll see if we can get him to do it. But Later this year, maybe eight, nine months from now, we're going to do a Kickstarter unboxing. But hopefully before then, we can do like a comic unboxing for a Kickstarter. So yeah, let us know what you what you would like to see from us. If you guys want to see some unboxings of things, let us know. Right. Or Seriously. If, or if you want to see us interview your favorite creator yep. and we haven't got around to them. That's weird. If you want to see Cody's collection, um, you guys have no idea his collection, how much it's grown. Right. So. But if, thank you for returning. If you're new, welcome. Thank you. We do comic. This probably should have been in the beginning. We do comic. We do indie comic reviews every week. Followed by an interview. Yep. Not necessarily. That order, but. Well, I mean, it's always in that order. Not necessarily 
interviews about the books we, re we reviewed. No. But you will get those two guarantee every week. Anything so, extra is just a bonus. So hit the bell so you get notified yep. of our videos. That's it? That's it. All right. All right.